guys, this is Edge Knife. Today we are going to be doing knife discussions on locks. The most commonly used locks, the liner lock, this one, the lockback lock, which is this one, and the frame lock, which is this one. Welcome back guys. If you did not catch which was which in the locks and knives, this knife, the Ruko Camo Outfitter, has a liner lock and we're going to be doing a discussion on it. Uh, this knife, the Gerber Mini Swagger, has the frame lock and we are going to be doing the discussion on this knife. And this knife, the uh, Smith & Wesson 24-7 pocket knife, has the lockback lock and we're going to be doing a discussion on this one also. And if you want to see uh, reviews on each one of these knives, we have them on our channel, and you can go back and watch those. So the first lock that we are going to be doing it on is the liner lock. And what that is, is when the knife is opened, a little piece of metal on the inside of the knife just pops out and holds it right there in place. And it's really good for easy one-handed opening. It's just and closing. You can open it really easily and really easily close it again too and it's pretty strong but it's the weakest of these three locks and it does not take any part of the handle so it's really nice about that and uh, it can hold around 243 pounds this way but this way it can hold more and you're but you're never really gonna even put 243 pounds really on a knife unless you run it over with the tractor but that's not then the knife is pretty much gonna be bent anyway um, so the second frame the second lock is the frame lock and what that is, is when the knife is opening, a little piece of the frame falls in place and right here there in the middle and holds the knife in place. Um, it's pretty much the same as the liner lock, except it's a little stronger. This one can hold 277 this way and a lot more this way too. Um, it's pretty easy one-handed opening, though it's a little harder. And when you first get it out of the box, you it's kind of stiff to push back out. So see, here's the one-handed opening and there's here's the one-handed closing to push it back right there. Um, and uh, it does kind of leave some problems with the handle, but not much since it's just right here mostly that's in there that, you know, so pretty much the rest of the handle is still fine. So they cut it right here so it's not going to pull the whole handle in. Um, the third lock that, that we are doing is called the lockback lock, and it's the strongest of these. It can hold 370 pounds this way and a lot more this way. It's harder to open. But this, the reason I can't open this one though is because it's got assisted closing, so it wants to close itself when you get it right here. It just snaps in place, so it just doesn't, it doesn't want to stay right there. Um, and how this lock works is, uh, so it's got a, so this there's this piece of metal right here, and what it does is it's got a little hook right here, and the back of this knife's got a little hook. So when you push it, you can see that this comes out, and the hooks hook each other right there. And the way to close it is you push this, it pulls the metal back, so the hooks can move out of each other and then it closes. There you have it guys, the, that, was the lock, that was the lock discussion. So now I'm going to rank these from my least favorite to favorite. So my least favorite one is this one just because the liner, the back locks are really hard to open and I, I don't hate them as much as some people but I just I don't like them as much. I would, I would prefer getting uh, a liner lock or a frame lock if I could just because these ones are harder to open. And my, my uh, second favorite <clears throat> is uh, the frame lock, because it's, it's, it's okay to open. It's pretty easy with one-handed. And it's, it's, just, it's just, I can open it. It's really hard to open the, the lockback one, so I, I, just, I like these ones better than those ones. And my favorite is the liner lock, just because it's, it's really easy, one-handed, opening and closing. I can just open and close it really easily. So we got the measurements for each one of these locks and how much they can hold from a channel called Knife HQ. If you want to watch their video, we will leave the link in the description for it. It was a really good video. Uh, if you want to watch it, it's a, it's a really good video, you know. If I, I, I know I repeated myself, but it was a, it was a really good video. I, I liked it. And now we are going to be leaving you. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you like these discussions and you want us to do more of them, leave us a like. And don't forget to share this video and comment and subscribe. Thank you.